okay today this is going to be a different topic this is going to be a microsoft sql server 2005 and i am going to show you how to use the sql server management studio okay this is a brief description sql server management studio is a very vast topic to be talking about okay i'll just go through the basics and that is how we are going to work with it okay just i actually started a microsoft sql server management studio and there it is this is server name it's showing me and it's showing 11 authentication is window authentication you can have mixed authentication also if you want but most of the people say actually nowadays used you can have a sql server authentication or window authentication or mixed authentication okay depending upon what you want okay this is the username the administrator because i have actually logged in as administrator the password is already actually selected okay because it is a window authentic window authentication okay and the thing is that the password is already actually given when i have logged in into my server okay i'm going to say connect and there we are into the database okay okay now it shows the green arrow on the top it says that the database has been actually the server is on and it will list the database that is there okay okay now it has listed the database okay there is a sql server agent that is disabled we are not going to discuss that thing right now okay what i am going to show it to you what the databases are okay now let's see okay this is a new if you click here it is a new it will stand up with a new query i am not going to detail here right now this is the database engine query and these are other things that are not related right now okay let's start with the database first okay okay this is database okay it, is trying, it shows a system database database snapshots and other databases okay, what is system database system database is database that the microsoft sql service uses for the actually creating other databases and storing the system details okay it is mostly related to the database that you are creating and the other th database that microsoft has created in the under the sql server okay and there's an okay let's go into it okay there's a master database and there's a model database master database is for the system database model database is a database that has actually from where you whenever you create a new database it will actually copy it's copied from that any changes if you want to make in all the database make it in the model database msdb database is a system database again it is actually used for actually recording a database backups and there is a temp db okay temp db is the database that actually microsoft sql server uses it for all the temporary activity like when you are creating very big indexes and other things okay and you are near sorting creating indexes and whenever whatever the details it wants to do in the temporary database that is do in temp db okay you can always create a temp db on a different disk usually people could always create a temp db on a different database uh, sorry different disk because if you are going to do lot of sorting lot of indexing okay lot of selecting it's better to have it on a different disk because the thing is it will does not actually defragment your hard disk and it keeps your database good okay now what's that database snapshot a database snapshot is just you know a copy of your database okay the thing is that when you create a database snapshot suppose if you create a database snapshot today okay what will happen it is not showing up any database snapshot because there are there aren't any okay right now so what is the database snapshot is suppose if you wanted to create uh, select some record okay and keep it okay and if you create a snapshot so what it will do it will take the image of that database and actually copy it in a different database and it will be created as snapshot what is the difference between a database and a database snapshot what happens is the database it keeps on updating while the snapshot would remain in the same static state the day you created the snapshot the time you created from there onwards it would remain the same as it is okay that's why it's known as snapshot okay okay if you want to upgrade you are, can delete that snapshot create a new snapshot or do whatever the process is okay now let's go to the advanced other database that are user database okay okay the this adventure works actually actually comes with the microsoft sql server okay now let's see what it has first it has shows the database diagrams okay it is expanding so it asks me whether you want to create a new database diagram 
right now i'm not going to show you how to do it but usually you want to if you have more multiple database and if you if you have many many multiple tables and if you want to see how they are related to each other by the primary key and the foreign key you can actually create a diagram and see how they are related to each other before writing an sql before okay i'm not going to so say no okay here it is the tables the tables there is there are a lot of tables then there is a dbo there is a say dbo database owner then there is a human repo human repo resource persons productions used to happen was that till sql server 2000 all the tables used to belong to dbo database owner however they this thing did not work correctly so they have created now sections everything you know this is actually a schema name okay when you are creating a, dis, a database you always created under the scheme of the schema okay so far so good okay now let's go a little bit further now what is this schema suppose if your company has a many department like a company may have a human resource human resource department okay that are dealing with the uh, this thing people people's and their salaries and etc okay and there may be a uh, other production department and there may be other department that may be related to sales or marketing okay so they will all each form a schema okay and each schema they will there would be a different uh, tables certain tables would be common to each one of them and they would be related with the primary key foreign key okay and this is how the database is created okay it's a complex process creating a database and it is a big a small database is still easier thing okay it requires a lot of actually addition subtraction and actually re normalization of the database has to take place you have to add tables you have to have a primary key you have to have a foreign key okay what indexes what type of indexes you would be needing all that things that goes into creating a database okay what type of column would be there in this table and what type of column would be there in the other tables then there are views okay now what is a view now why you have a view when you already have a tables views are nothing but an sql statement okay which allows the person to select the view a certain data from a different table and why would you have a view when you already have a table okay you could use a select sql statement the thing is that it firstly it makes the job easier okay if there was a certain person requiring a certain type of data and a certain field only you create a view for that person and that person always select, selects it from the view and he gets exactly what he wants the other thing is that you do not want uh, all the data to be shown to the every person in the organization so you create a view in a different for the different tables and you only give the permission to the related view to a person so only a person can see that data only that is related to him and that he should be or she should be seeing okay okay now let's go to a little bit further synonyms okay this is nothing but a nothing but a actually suppose if you had a very big name of the table and you wanted a different name to be actually representing it it's just like a pointer towards the name just like a nickname or something you have in your with yourself you may also be having a nickname in your home okay it's just another name for the same table same view okay you can have it for different objects okay nothing nothing different just a different name okay just trying to hide something hide the original name so that a person cannot figure out where the data is coming from okay now the programmability okay now there is stored procedure functions table a data triggers assemblies types rules defaults okay what is stored procedure stored procedure nothing but an sql code that is written okay and stored as a script okay and instead of writing every time the same sql again again you run the stored procedure it just a small program of the sql that you can use it to again and again so that and it gives you the same result or different result depending upon the parameters okay function is also very similar to the stored procedure the only thing is that function returns a value the stored procedure won't return a value let's go to the database triggers the database triggers are used in the database suppose if you wanted to modify a, add a add a record to a table delete a record or update a, a record in a table okay so there are certain things that the other tables may get affected with your addition deletion updation okay 
so these triggers that may help to prevent you from doing some addition deletion updation or may actually update the other tables also or may delete from the other tables also okay now there there is a types okay type is nothing but a similar what type of you are using it for the database field it's another actually if you wanted to create a type okay suppose there was a first name that was existing and you uh, wanted to use it in the string 25 characters okay the bracket 25 characters okay now suppose this f name was in many many tables was coming up with employee sales and etc okay you can create a type using f name type okay and actually create it as a string varchar 15 or 25 whatever you want and actually it creates a new type and you can assign the same type to every table rules rules are similar to the constraint if you know what suppose if you want the person to be entering a uh, data that is related to only male or female m or f or you wanted to create it under the range you can create a ru rules okay usually nowadays people don't create rules they usually con use constraint because constraint are much more faster but you still can create because the option is available to you default is something okay when you want to create a table and you have a field and you want that field to be always suppose if you are entering a data and there was a date field and you are going to take it as a default as today's date you can put as a default as a today's date and create a default okay that way it can be only explained to you when i am showing it to you in the details otherwise you are not going to be able to understand what what exactly it means and there is service broker storage securities all those things are more technical okay let's go and see what is inside a table okay to conclude this part okay i will show you how to actually let's go to the pubs and i'll show you what the table exactly contains what, what the table name the field name the indexes of views okay here is the table okay now let's go to the dbo dbo is the again the schema that was used to come into 2000 sql 2000 okay database owner stands for database owners okay this is the column for the table dbo authors okay it's showing you a you name know, also showing the field not null not null okay not null means it cannot be empty okay and there is a au id primary key is at the top that shows you that there is a primary key okay and then if you click the key then again it shows you the name of the primary key okay then there are constraints again i told you there are many four to five types of constraints okay primary key constraint for the key constraints okay like that and then there are triggers again here stated here indexes okay and the same thing as you see there may be index like a primary key index and a foreign key index and there is a clustered index and not clustered you can only have one clustered index and you can as, as have as many as a non clustered index you want statistics is not much to be talked about here okay that's it